Hello everyone and welcome back. We have been dealing with the fixed auxiliary or secondary storage, the hard disk drives from the previous session. Today, we will solve some numerical problems pertaining to the concepts that we learned during the last session. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Observe this question. Consider a HDD. Well, HDD is the acronym of hard disk drive with the following specifications. Four surfaces, 512 tracks per surface. These mean all the four surfaces have 512 tracks in each. Then 1024 sectors per track. And finally, size of each sector is 512 bytes. So these are the specifications of the hard disk drive. Now observe, there are three linked questions. We will solve these one by one. Consider the first one. Find out the capacity of the hard disk drive. Let's try to solve it. Now if you can recall the last session, there we learned how to calculate the capacity of one disk. Here in the specs, the number of surfaces has been provided as four. This means that there may be two magnetic disks with the ability to store data in both the sides of each one of them. Or there may be three disks where only the middle one can store data on both the sides whereas the top and the bottom disks have the ability to store data in only one side of these. Well, in both the cases, the number of surfaces is four. Now, the capacity of the entire hard disk drive can be calculated as number of surfaces multiplied by the number of tracks per surface multiplied by the number of sectors per track. Well, this much will give us the total number of sectors considering all the surfaces. Now, if we multiply the sector size with this, the total capacity of the hard disk can be found. So, let's do that. We have got four surfaces and there are 512 tracks in each one of those. Then we have 1024 sectors in each track and finally the sector size has been given as 512 bytes. So, 4 into 512 into 1024 multiplied by 512 bytes. Although this multiplication looks a little tough, but trust me, it's manageable. Let me illustrate. 4 is 2 squared. 512 is 2 raised to the power 9, then 1024 is 2 raised to the power 10. And again, 512 is 2 raised to the power 9. Now, 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 10 is 21, and 21 plus 9 is 30. So the capacity is 2 raised to the power 30. And 2 raised to the power 30 bytes is 1 gigabyte. So the capacity of the hard disk is 1 gigabyte. So we have solved the first one. Now let's move on to the second one. If the format overhead is 8 bytes per sector, then find out the formatted capacity of the hard disk drive. Now remember, in the previous session, we learned about the intersector gap, which is used to store various information about the sector, right? In this question, it is the format overhead and it is of 8 bytes per sector. So let's try to solve it. We just have calculated the total capacity of the hard disk drive and it is 1 gigabyte. Let's now calculate the total number of sectors. So number of surfaces multiplied by the number of tracks per surface into number of sectors per track will give us the total number of sectors. Now number of surfaces is 2 squared or 4 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 9, that is 512 tracks per sector, into 2 raised to the power 10, that is 1024 sectors per track. Now 2 plus 9 is 11, and adding 10 to that gives us 21. So the number of sectors is 2 raised to the power 21. Since we have figured out the total number of sectors, now let's calculate the formatting overhead. Well, it can be found by multiplying the number of sectors with the format overhead per sector. Now, total number of sectors is 2 raised to the power 21 multiplied by 8 bytes. 
So 2 raised to the power 21 multiplied by 2 cubed bytes. That is 21 plus 3, so 2 raised to the power 24 bytes. Now this can be stated as 2 raised to the power 4 into 2 raised to the power 20. Now 2 raised to the power 4 is 16 and 2 raised to the power 20 is 1 megabyte. Hence 16 megabytes. So 16 MB is the formatting overhead. Now we have calculated the total capacity as 1 gigs, which is actually 2 raised to the power 30 bytes. Now it can be stated as 2 raised to the power 10 into 2 raised to the power 20, where 2 raised to the power 20 will give us the unit megabytes, and 2 raised to the power 10 is 1024. Hence, the total capacity of the hard disk in megabytes is 1024. Therefore, the formatted capacity can be calculated if from the total capacity that is 1024, we subtract the formatting overhead that is 16 and since both the units are same, so it will remain megabytes only. So 1024 minus 16 is 1008 megabytes. So although the total capacity of the disk is 1 gigabyte, due to 8 bytes of format overhead per sector, we will be able to access 1008 megabytes. Now with this, we are done with the second one as well. Let's solve the next one now. Find the number of bits required to address each sector. Let's solve this one too. Now we already know how to find out the total number of sectors, right? So 2 squared into 2 raised to the power 9 into 2 raised to the power 10 that is 2 raised to the power 21. So the number of bits required to address each sector is log of 2 raised to the power 21 base 2, which gives us 21. So using 21 bits, we can address each and every sector of all the surfaces. Now we are done solving all the linked questions. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will learn some more architectural concepts of the hard disk drives. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.